Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is chilly and cold in Indianapolis. Actually, it's funny because my neighbor, I was talking to uh, my neighbor, the gardener across the street, and she said, well, I'm gonna go inside now and make some chili. And I said, it is perfect weather for some chili. And then I was thinking, um, oh my God, chili sounds so good. I have a can inside a vegetarian chili. That doesn't sound good. I don't know why, but like ordering chili from someplace, I might tonight, I haven't ordered food for a while, so I might order, um, there's this place in Indianapolis, it's not really chili, it's called Yats, and um, it's like red beans and rice and like Cajun food and stuff like that, and I haven't had it in a long time, and they have like on their menu, they always have like three like vegan options, and um, maybe I'll get that tonight, that kind of sounds good, that's kind of chili-ish. It's very cold tonight. Um, my husband is inside. He is watching some show on Max. I, he they say it was on Hulu or Max. I think it's called uh, No More Lies or These Are the Lies or something. He's real into it. He said it's really good. And um, so he's watching that and he just went and got some chicken nuggets. He was like, do you want anything? And I said, no. And I filmed actually two videos today before this. I didn't think I was gonna film any videos this weekend, but since I took some days off, I was like, I'll try to film some videos. I had all these boxes from Amazon of stuff that I ordered. So um, I did an Amazon haul. It was long, it was like 25, I think it was like 26 minutes. So I filmed an Amazon haul. And then I got tons and tons of DMs today about my drama topic. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll sit down and I'll film this while I'm just sitting. I just sat at the computer and filmed it. So I did a drama video and then Alex came back and he was watching the show. So I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna do my vlog and I'll be done for the day. So I was just asking him, I was like, are you still, cause he hadn't mentioned anything about going to this concert tonight. And I said, well, it's not really a concert, but it's our friend plays in a band. It's, our friend's husband plays in a band. And I said, are you still gonna go? And he's like, yeah, he's like, I don't know, I kinda just wanna stay at home now. And I said, well, I thought you had plans to go out with your girlfriends later. And he goes, yeah, that's still kind of up in the air. And I said, so if you leave, what time are you going? He goes, well, if I go to the band, then I will leave here at seven. And he was like, do you wanna go? And I said, I don't know, it's kinda cold outside. I don't really feel like going anywhere. And he goes, well, I thought you were gonna go swimming every day this weekend. I go, Alex, it's like, when I looked earlier, it was like 64 degrees. I said, I'm not going to the pool when it's 64 degrees. But then I was telling my neighbor, that, cause he was laughing. He was like, I thought you said you were gonna go to the pool every day this weekend. So I was telling my neighbor that and she goes, well, you can handle it. She goes, you can go down there for a little uh, cold swim. And I was like, maybe I should dive in the pool. Just, I was like, no, no, I'm not proving a point to myself and getting sick. Let's see what the temperature is right now. The temperature is currently, oh, it's 65 and cloudy. It's gone up a little bit. And the time is currently, here, let me turn off my phone so I can, the current time is 5.05 .05 p.m. I actually came out here earlier to vlog. Um, I came out here at like 1.30 and the sun was like all over the front porch. That was one of the reasons why I filmed some videos inside because I was gonna film my vlog really, really early and then I was just gonna binge watch Sister Wives all night. Well, I have two episodes left of, um, I have two episodes left of The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. I'm like really struck. Nikki and I were watching at the same time last night and texting each other. And I was texting her, I was like, are you bored with the show? She's like, I am, but there's enough like, you know, drama that's keeping me watching, which is kind of true. But the show's kind of boring if you want to know the truth. Um, but I'm gonna finish it because I want to kind of find out what happens. But who they present, it's interesting how they do it because who they present at the beginning of this season as kind of the mean girls, are who I ended up liking that actually are very real and down to earth girls. And then <clears throat> who comes across as like, well, they even say they're the most devout Mormons. <laughs> the most devout, the most like kind Christians are literally the mean girls of the group. Um, so that aspect of it's interesting, but I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm glad I watched it in case they come out with the second season. And um, I did a video about it yesterday and people seem interested in it. So when I, finish it, I will turn around and do another video about it. So, so yeah. Um, <laughs> I realized like halfway through the week, I was like, I didn't do my shark movie <laughs> for this week. I don't know why I forgot, but I just was like, oh, I forgot that I did, didn't do my shark movie on my Peter Watches TV channel. And I was like, well, it was a double feature of Jaws 1 and Jaws 2 anyway. So um, I will do that video on, I'm trying to do them on Monday. So on Monday, I will do the shark movie if you're wondering where that video was. Um, I don't, nobody's asked. <laughs> so I don't think, but I was like looking through my like watch movies last night, like when I was going through stuff and Jaws came up and I was like, oh, I know. 
never did my shark movie for this week. And I actually, it's funny because I screenshot all these shark movies. Well, the one that I'm going to pick for this week, it just came out on Max. It was actually a movie that you have to, that you had to rent previous to that. Hold on, let me, I just uploaded this video. Let me delete this video that I just uploaded. Okay, so, but I screenshot, I, they come up all the time. I don't know why, but like on Facebook, I'm not even part of this group, but it's like a shark movie group. It's not, not so hilarious. Um, where is like, okay, has anybody read this book, Bastion by Stephen King? I screenshot that because it's supposed to be like a dystopian kind of world. And so I thought, okay, maybe that's where I start with Stephen King. Um, here's another video that I uploaded the other day. Let me delete that one. Um, where is the shark movies that I had? I had that. Oh, here it is. Okay, well, I can't show you this one because this is the movie that I'm actually going to pick for this week. But these are some things I want to buy. I saw this on, and this is from the Vermont Country Store. It's a pure maple syrup candle. I might buy that. Oh, here's my screenshot of Gloria that I put up. I can delete that. Put that up on the Instagram the other day, the movie that I watched. <clears throat> Where's the shark movies? Hold on a second. All these screenshots from the secret lives of... Oh, here's another video that I uploaded. I can delete that. Um, where... Oh, videos. <laughs> I sent this video, this picture last night. <laughs> Fufu and I were texting. So when I was at his mom's house last night, I took this picture of Fufu from like their family photos from when like the first year that I met Fufu and I sent it to him last night. He thought that was real funny. Um, where are my shark movie screenshots? I've screenshot so many of them. I can't believe that they're not turning up here. Um, oh, here's these. Oh, you know what's so funny? Okay, so I did this Amazon haul today and in there so i i saw these goldfish these strawberry shortcake um hello kitty goldfish and i thought i ordered them on amazon well when it came it this ramen came that i thought that like because i looked it back up and it was like actually like chicken noodle soup ramen and i thought i canceled that out of there and so then when i was doing the video i was like oh i must have canceled the wrong thing i must have canceled these and so as soon as i got done with the video i took boo radley out and I got the, I got these in the mail, so I have these to review. So I didn't cancel either one of them, but I'm gonna give the ramen to some of my neighbors for their grandkids and stuff like that. Here's another video. I I don't know why I'm forgetting to delete these videos off of. Where are the shark movies? Secret Lives of Mormon Wives. Here are some Barbie donuts at Krispy Kreme. They're available on 9:15 if you want to get the Barbie donuts. I screenshot all this stuff. Um. Okay. Candles that I want, as seen in Vogue. I'm going to buy this to review on my review channel. It's the Native Deodorant. Does anybody use this Native Deodorant? I, I typically only use deodorants that have deodorant anti, anti antiperspirant in it, but this one doesn't. But it's apple butter and strudel deodorant. <laughs> I thought that would be fun for fall, so so I could smell like a, uh, like a bakery as I read my cozy mysteries. So, um, oh my God. Okay, I have, this is, I have to show you guys this picture. I screenshot this when I was watching Welcome to Plathville the other night. So when I was watching the Welcome to Plathville the other night, they posted these pictures of Micah Plath. And it's, this is so stupid. I showed it to Alex, he could care less. I uh, screenshot this picture because they were showing all these pictures of Micah Plath and his girlfriend, Veronica, that she's now public. She's gone public with a relationship. Well, one of the pictures that they show is this picture right here, okay? And so, Micah Plath's hair is longer, and he's in all black, and this outfit, this is the, this is the night at Ultra, and you can see they're, like, on Ocean Drive here, so he must have gone out, like, after they went to Ultra, but this is the outfit that she had on when we talked to her that night. Like, that's, I'm like, this is literally the outfits they had on. That was the night that, and they threw the picture up on Welcome to Plathville, so I took that screenshot, and then nobody cares. And then some lip balms that I want to buy. Has anybody bought these Starface lip balms? They look kind of fun, so I thought about buying those. And then these ones called Space Camp. Has anybody heard of those? Oh, then I'll picture a little Boo Radley sleeping. We'll talk about him in just a second. Oh, a little Boo Radley in his sweatshirt from last Christmas. Oh, that was all my pictures about Boo Radley. Where are my shark movies? My favorite quote from To Kill a Mockingbird I have right here. Oh, that was for Boo Radley's picture. Atticus was right. One time he said, you never really know a man until you stand in his shoes and walk around in them. Just standing on the Radley porch was enough. I love that. Where are all these shark movies I screenshot? I keep on coming back to this one that's I'm trying to like look through these things and just see like 
I screenshot like all these receipts that people send me and then I'm like later I'm like, why do I have this receipt? Oh, here's another candle, Bookshop in Autumn that I wanna buy. <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking about buying one of these for my booktube channel. I bought one of these when I was visiting Mel. I think it was the first time that I visited Mel. But there are these like blind date with a book where you say like what you're like, have you guys seen these? You can get them. They're all over Etsy. And you say like you want a mystery or a romance or whatever. And you like fill out like a form like you're on like a dating site or whatever. <laughs> but it's like for a book. Like what kind of books you like. And then they send you a book. But this one's really cool. Like they send you like bookmarks and like a pen and like a book log and all this kind of stuff. So, and this one says like women's fiction, American dream, $3.99. I thought that would be kind of fun to do that. So I think I'm going to order a couple of those for my booktube channel. Why am I not finding any of these shark movies? I literally screenshot them all the time. See, I have Oddity because somebody told me to watch Oddity. And then I have Trap, which some people said they loved and other people said they hated. Speak No Evil. I, don't, I never look this stuff back up and then I screenshot it. Oh, here's my wax warmers. I bought two of them and I showed them in my haul today, but you couldn't really see how they really look. So if you watch that video, this is what they look like. They look like little fireplaces, but I actually bought the ones that are like, they look like fake wood on the outside. So I'm gonna put one in the kitchen and one in the living room. Where are the shark movies? Here's that stupid thing that people still keep on commenting on, even though I commented, where I said Halloween 2024 is the first time in 666 years Halloween falls on a, on a Friday the 13th. And I said it, I showed it in my vlog, and I said, I feel so stupid for this. I fell for it. I don't know who sent it to me. I feel like Mel sent it to me. I don't know why, but I don't know who sent this to me. <clears throat> But I showed it in a vlog and I go, is that true? I'm going to have to Google that or something like that. And so many people were like, Peter, like, now I'm getting hot in this because this is like a fleece lined hoodie. Um, but so many people were like, Peter, Halloween's always on the 31st. Okay, first of all, Halloween is my favorite holiday of life. <laughs> I know that it falls on the 31st always, okay? I love Halloween. Halloween is absolutely 100% my favorite holiday of life. I don't know why reading this. This is how dumb I am, truly. That it didn't occur to me when I read it. But anyway, why am I not finding any of these? Okay, this Monsters that's coming out. Alex really wants to watch this, so we're going to watch this together. The Ryan Murphy about the Menendez brothers. Hold Your Breath with Sarah Paulson. I feel like, I don't know why I feel like I've watched that. I've shown some of these. The Deliverance. Oh, the Mr. The Mr. Uh, Balling bu Ballin book. I bought that. I bought it on Amazon, so that's coming. Oh, here's another video I need to delete. Okay. Where are my shark movies? Receipts, 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 receipts. This book, I bought this on Audible. It's called Sleep Tight. It's supposed to be real scary. I'm trying to get all my scary books for... Oh, you know what I did? Oh, I went in... A... <laughs> I went in all my shark receipts and I wrote them down on my shark list. That's what I did. Because I keep a list of all the shark movies that I want to watch. That's, what, that's why there's no receipts showing up here. Because I, ridic I have literally... Will it show me how many pictures I have? 24,566 in recent. <laughs> so I try to go through here and delete like, but the thing is if like I need a receipt from something that I talked about like six months ago, I wanna make sure I have it. So literally my entire phone is like receipts, pictures of Boo Radley and Alex and receipts and <laughs> more receipts and stuff like that. What is this? I have this favorites video. Oh, it's little Boo Radley. That must have been with our Christmas bedding. He's digging in the bed. Look at him, little guy. Speaking of Boo Radley, oh, he keeps on going. Oh. Um. Well, I'm a little. We're we're a little worried about Boo Radley right now. He's he's better today. He's much better today. We're not really sure what's going on. Um. I don't really know what order to tell this story in. Okay, so when I got done vlogging yesterday, I said, you know, I, I said in my video that I was worried about him and that he seemed older. And what, I mean, he is older. He's 15 years old, right? The th and, and somebody said in my vlog, they said something about, like, you talk about this every, like, week some, or every couple weeks about, like, Boo Radley and whatever. I know I do. Like, I'm wor really worried about him. And, you know... I mean, I just want the little guy to live as long as possible, but also to live a good life as long as possible. You know, I don't want him to be in pain or unhappy or whatever. So what's weird is that he was completely fine and like having the zoomies at night and everything like that. I mean, he slept a lot, but he was like still like really like, you know, jovial and playful and whatever at night and, you know, would like cuddle with us and whatever. 
but it started really like on his birthday or like that night before his birthday that he just wasn't himself. He just was like, um, he just was like, uh, what do you call it? Um, sleeping a lot and he like didn't really want us to like touch him a whole lot last night like when we would go to like touch him he would kind of like move away a little bit like he's not like that like he loves us petting him and stuff like that especially Alex um and like he always curls up next to Alex he wasn't doing that he was jumping off the bed and on the bed off the bed and on the bed he was doing that constantly and then he would sit down for a second and so I was really, really worried I started I, I have thought for a while now because some people have suggested it to me that maybe a lot of dogs get dementia so and when I started talking about Boo Radley pacing a lot at night. People would say things. They'd say, like, have you thought about maybe he has dementia? Because that's, like, one of the signs of dogs having dementia is when their, their sleep patterns change. Trust me, I Googled the hell out of this last night, and I shouldn't have because I got into this whole Reddit thread about people talking about putting their dogs down and stuff like that because of dementia, and I just got real sad about it. I got really, really upset about it. And I said something to Alex, and Alex is like, we're not putting our dog down. He's completely fine. He's a happy dog. You know, we'll take him to the vet this week. We'll figure things out. So, um, that was not good for me to read all that stuff last night. I mean, if he is, he's in the beginning stages of it. So, a lot of things online said that dogs with dementia can live for, like, months to years on end. Just You just have to, like, kind of adapt to it and whatever. And since it's just the three of us, it's not hard to adapt to Boo Radley. Now we're kind of wondering if today maybe that's not the case, that he has dementia. But anyway, so he just was acting real weird last night. And I got way stressed out, like, after I got done vlogging. I mean, well, after we got back from his mom's house last night. I vlogged earlier. So after I got back, we got back from his mom's house. We took him out. He was very lethargic. He, like, didn't really want to even be outside. I was, like, sitting up inside putting my vlog up when we came back. Alex took him outside. I said, how was he? He's, like, he's really slow. Like, he doesn't really want to do a lot. Well, when Alex went upstairs, he kind of stayed downstairs. And he, like, ate a little bit of his food. And then he walked around. And he ate a little. He would, like, look at me. I mean, like, how he always does. But was he was being really slow. So then I stood up. And when I stood up, he got, like, a little excited. And I said, do you want to go outside and go potty? It was literally 10 minutes after Alex had taken him out. Well, when I took him outside, he was really, really slow. So, um, I was like, something's not right about this. And so, I took him upstairs, we got into bed, and then he jumped down. And he just kept on doing this for like an hour. And I, that's when I was like, panicked and looking stuff up and whatever. And Alex is like, okay, we're going to get him to the vet. We'll figure out what's going on, blah, 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 whatever. Well... I was really stressed out about it. Like, I was like, I started like, anyway, when Alex finally went to bed, I said, how is he? He goes, he's, he's fine. He's, he, he, the other thing is he hasn't wanted to sleep in his purple bed the last couple nights. So Alex went to bed at like 1 30 or two in the morning. We didn't get home till late last night. We got home at like midnight. And so I, we were going to stay there till 10, but we were having so much fun that we ended up getting back here about midnight, maybe like 12, 15. So finally, when Alex went to bed, I said, how is he? And he goes, he's fine. He's, he's settled in his purple bed and he's asleep. And he's like, I think we should just let him sleep through the night and just not bother him and stuff like that. So he did. He slept through the night. When I came upstairs, and I came upstairs at like 5 o'clock. When I came upstairs, he didn't come downstairs to go potty outside at all during the night. When I came upstairs, he was so tucked into that purple bed. And I like kind of put my phone over it to see him. And like he didn't open his eyes or anything. And I started petting him. He didn't put up his head. Like I was like kind of worried, right? So I'm like going to bed last night and I'm like, you know, like I'm somebody that I, that always like stresses to the 10th degree. Like I take everything. Right. And I'm like, have my arm on him and I'm like, you know, already like borrowing trouble, which I shouldn't do and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just, I was really upset last night when I went to sleep. So today I woke up <laughs> and I woke up and he has not done this, you guys, literally in years. I woke up to him like pawing at me and I just like and I have to be honest with you I was so deep in prayer last night I mean and I'm a big believer in prayer I woke up and he's like standing over me and he's like pawing on me and I'm like what's up Boo Radley and I look over and Alex is asleep and I said and he like jumps and he's like like he's excited like he's playing right and I go and he hasn't been like this in the last couple days and I said, what's going on? Well, when I said something like, what's going on? Alex woke up. And I said, I said, you're sleeping, you're sleeping in today. Cause it was a little bit later. And he goes, I've been up all morning. He is like 
he's acting crazy. He's like running around. He wants to go outside every five minutes. He was like, he's been pawing at me all morning. He's like a different dog today. And he's been a different dog all day today. He has been like crazy active, running outside, whatever. So this has happened in the past when we're not around. Boo Radley, okay, so we tried to do the stairs up to the bed, like having the stairs. He won't walk on those stairs. You know, we try to lift him up there, which we do quite a bit. But, like, he runs and jumps up the stairs. And at night when we go to sleep, we leave the doors closed so that he can, like, wander around. Well, he can literally stand and just jump on the bed. I mean, he does it all the time. And when we try to, like, keep him from doing it, he's like, whatever. But he has arthritis, you know. And he's on gabapentin and he is on the carfutin. And so it really helps him. What we think might have happened was that he, like, jumped up and, like, hurt himself a little bit. And that's why he was feeling, like, down the last two days. Because Tanya said to me, I'll never forget, I think I said this on a vlog. She was like, because we haven't, either one of us, like, witnessed anything that happened to him. It was just, like, all of a sudden he just seemed like a different dog. And Tanya said to me, you know, you're, you're acting like he's, like, still like a puppy because he looks like a puppy. She goes, but he's really, like, a 70 or 80-year-old man. And she's like, 70 or 80-year-old men don't heal overnight. Like, it takes him a couple days. Remember when I said that, like, months ago? That's why we watch him so closely. And so we think, like, in the middle of the night, he might have, like... Because sometimes in the middle of the night, he'll, like, jump down if he, like, wakes up. And he'll, like, walk around the bed and then he'll jump back up. We think maybe he, like, jumped up and he couldn't, you know, see or something. And so, like... I mean, he always just stands in the same... We have, like, a... So at the end of our bed, we have a rug that we got. Like, it's our bathroom rugs that we have for, from Ikea. They're, like, these gray rugs. We have it right in front of where he can, like, jump up on the thing so that he knows if he's standing on the... And, and somehow he knows because he just always goes to the rug and then jumps. Um... So, we think that maybe he, like, just in the middle of the night, like, jumped down and then, like, jumped up and wasn't, he didn't feel great or something. And so, um, so anyway, so we talked about it and I was, like, looking online and stuff like that. And I was like, I think we need to get, we, we're still going to take him to the vet this week, but I was like, I think we need to get some, like, a, a nightlight for, like, the floor in case he jumps off. Because he is, like, and this might be him having dementia, we don't know. Um, but he does get off and he wanders around the floor a couple times during the night. Or if I'm downstairs, he'll come downstairs and then, you know, whatever. And so, I was like, maybe we need to get a nightlight on the floor. And Alex is like, I know, I said, I know you like the, the room, like, pitch black to sleep in. I do too. But I think, he's like, no, I completely agree. He was like, let's get a nightlight for against the bathroom wall. And then, because that's where he walks. He walks, like, over to the door of the bathroom, then comes back and over to Alex's side and then goes over there. And I said, that way he can see, at least, you know. So, we're going to get a nightlight for that over there. Um... So, yeah, I'm going to get on Amazon today. I'm going to order that nightlight when I get done with this. But he's back to normal today. It's the craziest thing. Like, I mean, I was literally, like, last night laying in bed, and I was like, we've got days left with this dog. I mean, that's literally how I felt. And then today I wake up, and the dog is like, he was three years old again. I mean, it's crazy. I so, I don't know. He must be feeling much better today. But that's where we're at with the whole Boo Radley situation. So... I appreciate, there were a lot of people that, like, you know, sent me DMs about him, and I put up a little picture last night, that was on my Instagram story, that was when I was really sad about it, people were like, you know, I hope Boo Rowley feels better, and whatever, he's feeling 100% better today, I don't, I, I'm assuming he is, because he's running around, and acting, I mean, he's, it's kind of like, he slept so much, that now he's like, he's got to get all this energy out, and when Alex has been upstairs, he's been in his purple bed, so he's back in his purple bed again, I don't know what is going on with this dog, I don't know, you know, I mean, I know he's not going to live to be 30, I, I'm not, I'm fully aware of that, I think that's part of it, is knowing that, I mean, we've always been on borrowed time, I get that, right, but the fact that I know that one of these times, he's not going to come back from it, you know, like, I think that's what makes me the saddest about it, um, I don't know. You know, Pee-Pee... Uh, Boo Rowley has just always been my baby. He just always has. Like, he's just... You know, he was the one that just followed Pee-Pee and Tucker around. Pee-Pee and Tucker were... I mean, he wanted to be Pee-Pee's best friend. And he was always kind of the loner. When they would play at the end of the bed, he'd sit up there with us. He's always just been kind of the baby, you know? So, I don't know. I'm just sharing it with you. Please bear with me while I deal with this. I mean, dogs are hard, you know? I was saying that to my neighbor across the street. I was telling her about it today and what, because she was asking, like, how he was doing and stuff when I was walking him around. She's like, he seems, you know, whatever. And I said, yeah, and she goes, that, like, that's the hard thing. They have cats. They have, like, and they, when they moved in here, they lost a cat. Now they have two other cats. Um, and I said, she said, that's the hard thing with pets. She's like, you know that they don't live forever. And I said, well, none of us do. And she's like, I know, but with pets, she's like, 
you want them to, you know? And she's like, that's the hardest thing, because as they get older, she's like, one of their, I think one of their cats is older and the, the other cat is like real young that they got like after the other cat passed away. Um, but anyway, so that's the update on Boo Radley. That's where he's at. Oh, speaking of, um, a couple, I think somebody asked about this. I think somebody asked about this on the, anyway, um, do you hear those, those crickets again? They're loud tonight. It seems like there's like one or two lone things out there. Um, okay, updates in the neighborhood, because I was talking to her today and I talked to her yesterday. So apparently we can use the street. Except for that, we can't go down this way. We have to go around, which is what Alex has been doing. And they come, we can't go past that part. So, like, they can, if they live on that side going down, they can go down that way. Or if they live down this, but we can't go past this thing. Well, this thing is, like, right in the middle of where we go. So, she was telling me all about that. She goes, did you hear people are really upset about it? I go, it's supposed to be, like, four days. She goes, I know, we're on, like, day two. I said, it's going to be over by Monday. They're coming back. She, I said... Something about they're coming, supposed to be back on Monday or whatever. She's like, yeah, Monday or Tuesday they're supposed to finish it. She goes, but people are really pissed about it. I said, oh, I haven't heard anything. She goes, well, she's oh, she's doing all her fall decorations. So she's changing some of her plants. She was changing her lights today. And I said, well, what, Mrs., what are you changing your lights to? She goes, I'm changing them to orange and black and purple. She goes, those are your favorites. I said, oh, they are? And she goes, yeah, you told me last year they're your favorites. So she was changing her lights today, too. And then... um Yesterday, she told me what happened with the ambulance and the fire truck and stuff like that. Okay, so now I know who it is. So I don't know if you guys remember me telling you that there was like two older ladies that live next to each other. I don't really know them that well. The one that lives the closest to me, I've met her a couple times. She's very, very sweet. I've helped her with her trash cans and stuff like that. So the other woman that lives on the other side of her, like, remember I told you about this? Like, she comes over to her house every day, like, for coffee. Do you remember I told you? Okay, so it was her, the woman that comes over. It was her what happened. And apparently what happened, now I've heard this from two different people. I heard it from her, and I heard it from her. So it was, like, the same story. But apparently what happened was she was cooking something in her kitchen, and it started to burn. And so she opened her oven, and all this smoke came out. So... When she opened it, she, like, grabbed a dish towel, and she, like, pulled out whatever, and apparently she, like, her, like, burnt her hand, but, like, just a little bit or something, and so she called her son, and she said, it's on fire, she said something like, it's on fire, I don't know, like, how it was said, but, like, something's on fire, and, like, I got burnt, and so her son, like, rushed over here, and he, like, called the ambulance and the fire people at the same time, which is why the fire truck and the ambulance came. When I, like, stopped vlogging and I walked over there, I, like, saw my neighbor and, like, my neighbor next door. We were, like, out there. At that point, there were a lot of people in the street. And um, they were, like, what's going on? And somebody came back and they were, like, it's nothing. Like, she just, like, hurt her hand, like, pulling this thing out with a dish towel. And so they told her to go to med check. So when I saw her, she, her son was, like, helping her get into his car. And, like, the ambulance and the fire, the fire truck left. And, like, they were getting in their car. And I guess they just told them to go to the med check and get their her get her hand checked out but there was really nothing wrong with it I guess she wasn't even really burnt so anyway it was miscommunication and her son thought that like the house was on fire and that she was like I don't know something like she was burning and I don't know so that like he rushed over here so when he got here then I guess he got here and then the fire trucks and stuff came she said at some point she said something about she saw the sun show up so anyway so that's what happened um she was burning something and this, something she was cooking in the stove started burning and then she tried to pull it out with a dish towel and when she did the dish towel wasn't thick enough and so like it like sh her she felt like she burned her hand or something but apparently nothing was wrong nothing was burnt in the house and she's completely fine and she went to med check that's why I know. And she's completely fine. My neighbor across the street said she's good. She was like, it was just like a miscommunication between her and her son or something like that. So she said they, uh, she said that they were, she was really surprised. I guess she talked to her today when she was coming over to her friend's house because that woman then came over. She's up early. So she sees her come over to her friend's house for coffee. And she talked to her and she was like, are you okay? And whatever. And she was like, yeah. She was like, I don't even know why my son called the ambulance and the fire department. She was like, it was nothing. She was like, it was just like, he didn't understand what I was saying on the phone. So she said it was miscommunication and that she was completely fine. So that's the whole fire truck thing. The pool, I keep on thinking that they're going to keep the pool open and then we're going to at the last minute get a notice, but there's been no notice. But I will tell you, 
the other drama that is going around in the neighborhood, okay, is that they have the car, but they haven't got the license plate on it. And it's, I haven't seen this car at all. In fact, I was talking, the camera stopped. Um, I talked to her and I talked to her about it. I haven't seen this car, but apparently there's a black car with tinted windows in her neighborhood and um, has been sitting outside of people's houses taking pictures. This is like big drama right now that I guess everybody's talking about. Um, when I asked her if she knew about it, she was like, oh yeah, how, how did you not hear about it? Oh, did she just text me? No. Uh, Emily Baker just texted me. Um, so, come on phone. We got a bunch of emails about this, and I was like, kind of like, what is going on? I saved one of it because I wanted to share it with you guys what it was about. Hold on a second. <sighs> Somebody shared this and said, okay, apparently the first time it happened was a Memorial Day weekend. A black Honda was in front of these people's house. It's the street that's like leading into our neighborhood. So the first time it happened was outside of our neighborhood. And they were taking pictures of the house when they weren't home and their neighbors saw it. Then, okay, it happened again a day later. And then this guy said, and then about an hour ago, um, he was about to turn left into our neighborhood and he saw that the car was taking pictures of one of the condos in here. And so he followed the car and the car went into, he followed it like all the way down like three streets and it turned into this church and then, okay, so this church, when you go down in my neighborhood, there's like two churches outside and it's like Main Street. There's one on the right and one on the left. The church, the car turned into the church, like sped down. Well, the parking lot goes all the way around the church. So you can literally do, I think I actually, I showed that in one of my videos back in one of my vlogs. You can actually, I think it was when there was like coyotes back there or something. You can actually like go around the church. Well, they did and they sped down. When the guy followed him, he was like coming out the back and then he couldn't get him. And so... Um, he said, just want to stay alert just in case in some sort of suspicious activity. Um, and so then like, it's like a screenshot of like the, the, his email. And then the, uh, management company was like, please be on the lookout for this as far as safety issues and stuff like that. So now the whole neighborhood is on the lookout. Okay. For this black car that I don't know why they would be taking pictures <coughs> of people's houses. I have not seen this car. <clears throat> at all um so yeah i don't know what that's about but that's kind of scary don't you think like there's somebody in our neighborhood taking uh pictures of houses well like apparently it started outside our neighborhood which is like where the bigger houses are i mean you know these are just condos but like the big houses are out there um I will say it kind of freaks me out as far as like driving and or walking and stuff like that because I walk outside in this neighborhood at night um, and I'll see like cars like just like stopped but you never know because like the street is like an old street so just to park on the side and the lawns are huge so you don't know if they're like parked for that house or if they're just parked on the street you know what I mean um, but yeah it's kind of freaky so Anyway, last night we went over to Alex's mom's house and um, Alex's mom is getting ready to go to Europe for two months. She's really, really excited. Just moved into her new house and now she's going to Europe for two months. Um, so she is going to Spain for a month and she's going to Switzerland and she's going to, I can't remember where else she told us she's going to, but She's going to be back around Thanksgiving time or maybe after. She hasn't decided when her end date is. And so we went over there last night for Alex's grandma's 94th birthday. She had such a great time last night. It was so fun. I didn't know how many people would come. Sometimes when I go, there's like 30 people there and I don't know half of them. But last night, um, we thought that Carlos and Liliana weren't going to get there till 9. But Carlitos's, um football game went short. And so I guess it was like a not like a serious, not like a real game, but like a scrimmage or whatever. So it went short. And so they got there about a half an hour after we got there. <clears throat> when we got there, it was Alex's aunt and uncle and his cousin and then his grandma. And apparently his grandma and his cousin have been staying with his mom for like the last couple days. And then, um, so Alex's mom's friend that she went to New York with 
well, they, she met in New York, and then she came back and stayed here for two weeks. She actually is leaving tonight at, like, five, I think, something like that. So it was good seeing her. It's Carlos's godmother. Um, and so she was there. It was really great seeing her. It was so fun. She's hilarious, and she's so fun. <laughs> she was like, she was like, will you take a picture with me? And I was like, yeah. And she was like... She was like, I'm going to tell everybody that you're my boyfriend in Indiana. <laughs> she was like laughing and stuff like that. I go, listen, I go, people are trying to use my pictures for fakes anyway. And she goes, really? She's like, what? And I was like telling her about like people like take my pictures and make up fake men, take up fake accounts. Maybe it's women. I don't know. They make up my fake, take, make up fake accounts to try to get, um, um, I try to get like money from women and whatever and she's like so if I use this picture of us maybe I might get a boyfriend I go I don't know if that'll work for you that way and so she like took this picture she like put her head on my shoulder it was so funny we were like had so much fun with it and then um so she was there and then it was one of Alex's moms and aunts like good friends that was there that they've like known ever since like it was it's funny so it was the mother when Alex and I first met he called me, like, I think I've told this story before, but, like, we went on a day, I think it was Monday or Wednesday or whatever, and then, no, Monday, because Wednesday was when we went to Champs at the Strait, and that was the first time that I met our friend Demi, and I met Carlos, and then that weekend, Alex was in Chicago with Carlos, and they were up there for a baseball game, and they were staying at their friend's house, and so he asked me, he was like, he called me in the middle of the night, and he was like, come up here, and so I drove to Chicago, and that was, like, such a great weekend for Alex and I, it was, like, our first, like, you know time really really hanging out together and so we stayed at this girl's apartment that Alex and Carlos have been friends with because like their families were friends and had both moved here at the same time I think they're from Colombia and Alex's family had moved her from Venezuela so they all knew each other at the same time and like had grown up together and whatever like I think she is the same age as Alex so Alex was 12 when he moved here so I think she was like 12 and so they like would all like hang out together like Alex said like when he was growing up like all the families would get together and they would have like these big parties and stuff like that so last night it was her mother and her and her mother says her mother and her aunt that were there so I hadn't seen them in a long time so that was fun and then Carlos and Liliana and the kids it was fun we had such a good time last night and his grandma had such a good time. I posted a picture. I posted actually the videos of like them singing happy birthday and stuff or all of us singing happy birthday to her um, around her birthday cake. It was a beautiful birthday cake. Um, I took pictures of it. Hold on a second. I got to speak a little bit. So I'm not doing my Spanish journey online because um, I just know that people are going to like constantly ask about it and stuff but I have been learning Spanish and so I'm not fluent by any chance, but when I'm around the family, obviously, I, like, try to learn, you know, practice some of it. So, last night, I got to say some things to his grandma, um, in Spanish, and that was really, really exciting. I thought I took a picture of the cake. Where is it at? Oh, you know what? I just put it on my Instagram. Hold on. So, here's her birthday cake. Isn't that so pretty? And then, I took a picture of she and I last night. I love her so much. So this is me and Alex's grandma last night. <laughs> I look like I have the exact same thing on. I didn't. I actually was going to wear this blue hoodie last night because it was kind of colder outside. But then I was like, we're going to be hot inside the house and stuff like that. She had so much fun. But she was kind of surprised because I said some things to her that I kind of planned on saying that were in Spanish. And we were able to have like a little bit of a conversation. And it was really nice because we don't, you know, honestly. And she was like, oh my God. She was like, how do you notice? You know, so it was really fun. Um, his aunt really, his mom wasn't like, she was talking to somebody else when that was going on. But his aunt got such a kick out of it. Um... And by the way, like, I mentioned it in some videos, and some people had said, like, happy birthday, abuela, and stuff like that. And so, I was, like, showing it to his aunt, and so she, sh like, she told her. She was like, people on Peter's videos wish you happy birthday. And she was like, how do they know me? And she was like, they don't, but they just went. And she was really excited about that. So, it was so much fun. We hung out with the kids. Um, the kids are so funny. It's so weird because, like... So they're 12 and 8 now. Carlitos is 12. I mean, you can actually have kind of a conversation with them, you know, about, I mean, they're not just like kids. They're talking about, like, what video game are you playing? Um, and so they were talking about us, about school. Carlitos already has his college picked out. He wants to go to University of Texas. I don't know why, but he's something about sports. So he goes back and forth between his favorite sports. Football was his favorite sport. Now baseball is his favorite sport. So we were all sitting around there talking to him. At one point, it was like, 
Carlitos and Sebastian and me and Alex's mom in the basement and we were playing this game. I mean, it went on for like 45 minutes, you guys. We played this game with this <laughs> this balloon and we just like, it couldn't hit the ground. And his mom, like anytime, cause she and I were sitting next to each other and they were across from us. And so anytime it would come near her, she'd go, ah, like a bug was hitting her. It was so funny. And the kids were getting such a kick out of it. We had such a good time last night and it was just so much fun. And I didn't eat great though. She had gotten like four things from Costco. She got like these stuffed peppers, but they had meat in them. And then she got some like rice and chicken deal, but that had meat in it, obviously. And then she got something else that had meat in it. And then she got the Costco macaroni and cheese, which I love. So I had some macaroni and cheese. I had some cake last night, but that was all I ate yesterday. I didn't eat horribly, but, um, and I had some crackers and I had a tortilla. <laughs> so, I don't know. And Alex's uncle and I talked a lot last night, and that was fun, and we always catch up. He's so funny. It was just, it was really, really just a nice night. And so, like, Alex had said, he was like, um, he was like, I'm really tired. Like, when we were going over there, he was so tired. Like, when I went upstairs, well, we were supposed to leave at, like, 5 after 7. So, I went upstairs, and I was like, I'm getting ready to get in the shower. And he goes, yeah, I need to, too. And I go, you're going to take a shower? And I was like, yeah. And I go well, we're not going to make it out of here by 7.05. We ended up leaving like at 20 after 7 or something like that. But on the way over there, he was like, I'm so tired. I could have slept the whole night. And I was like, okay. Well, I, he goes, I said, well, you said you only wanted to stay till like 10 or something like that. So at like 10.30 or something, he like walked up because he was sitting at the table talking to his uh, mom's friend that's from, anyway, from Texas. And so she, he came over and he was like, are you, do you want to go? And I was like, I was sitting there. Sebastian had put on that movie Migration which I'd seen the ads for. I don't love cartoons, but, you know, it was fun. I was sitting there talking to his aunt, and then Carlitos and Sebastian were sitting there on the couch, and um, they were playing, like, games on their phones or something like that, and they were talking to us and whatever. Well, Sebastian, at that point, was watching the movie. He was, like, sitting right in front watching the movie. And then Carlitos was, like, playing some game on his phone and talking to his aunt and I and stuff like that. Um, they're really interactive kids, you know, like... I feel like I hang out, like, with friends of mine whose kids, like, they don't ever, like, interact or have conversations. Like, the kids are nice. Like, they'll ask questions and stuff like that, and they'll, like, talk to you and whatever. Oh, this was so funny. Last night, this is the first time, like, any of that, like, Carly, Carlitos and Sebastian, well, it was Carlitos, it was, and he's 12. He'll, um, yeah, he's, he'll be 12 in November. And it was when we were in the basement, and it was when his mom, and his mom said something about, she, oh, she said something about, like, her, she had a glass of wine. It was on the table. And she's like, oh, I don't want to spill my glass of wine or something like that. And Carlito said, Tio Peter, he goes, you don't ever drink. And I said, no, I don't. And, um, and this is where kids understand more than we give them credit for, right? Not to mention that a lot of 11, 12-year-olds are using, I mean, I started using at 12 years old, right? And so I wasn't going to get into some deep-seated conversation without Liliana and Carlos being there. That's not my place to do that. But he said, my mom said that you don't drink because you're sober. And I said, yeah, that's correct. And his mom goes, for 29 years. And he goes, you, so what does that mean? And he goes, you don't drink. And I said, I don't drink alcohol and I don't do drugs. And he goes, and you haven't for 29 years? And I, and I could, like, in his head, I could see him, like, spinning, like, how many years that was. And he goes, that's a long time. And he goes, that's longer than I've been here. And I go, yeah, it's, like, three times as long as you've been here. And he just laughed. And he goes, he goes, that's really cool. He goes, so you don't drink any alcohol ever? And I said, no, nope, I don't ever drink alcohol at all. And his mom, like, put her shoulder, her arm around me. And she goes, we're really, really proud of Peter. And um, he goes, that's really cool, T.O. Peter. He goes, that you don't drink. And that, he goes, so so you choose, you choose like, he, I can't, how did he say it? He goes, so it's a choice that you don't drink. And I said, yeah. I go, it was really bad. I said, it was, you know, I said, you know, it was really bad. And I said, and um, I said, if you want to sit down and have a conversation sometime with your mom and dad, we can do that. And he goes, he goes, no, he goes, but it's nice to know that you don't have to drink and you don't have to use drugs if you don't want to. And I was like, that's kind of an interesting perspective from a kid. But I told him, I said, if you ever want to sit down and talk about it, like if your mom and dad are around, we can do that. And he was like, okay. He's like, but we don't, he's like, no, he's like, but that's cool. Um, so it's funny having that, I mean, because, you know, I mean, it's just he's always been this little kid to me, you know, and now all of a sudden he's, like, asking these questions. And it was funny kind of, like, how his mom, like, helped, like, Alex's mom helped maneuver that conversation, too. Um, but it was nice. We had such a good time last night. Everybody just sat around and laughed, and his grandma cried with the cake and all this kind of stuff. It was so good, and it was so fun. And then they, like, uh, FaceTime Jesse and Fufu, and so they, like, got to be part of all of it. And it just was really nice. It was really, really nice. It was good. So we ended up staying there. Like, oh, Alex came over and he asked me, he's like, are you ready to go? I'm like, I'm good. Like, I'm having fun sitting here talking to you. I talked to his aunt for a long time last night. We had so much fun talking and 
Um, so yeah, it was really, really good. It's a good night. It was fun. And then we came back, and Alex said, are you going to take a nap? And I said, I mean, it's almost, I think it was like, I think we did get home at like 12.15, because I was like, at that point, I was like, it's midnight, and we weren't home yet. And I said, I'm not going to take a nap at, like, I mean, it's not out of, it's not out, I, it's not out of the question that I would take a nap at midnight, but I was like, no, like, I want to watch some shows. And so... He went upstairs, and that, that was when the whole boot rally situation happened, and then he went upstairs and was watching that show that he's watching now that he had told me he started watching last night, that live show. He was like, I think you might like it. It's kind of like a thriller, but he was just watching it now, and it sounded like Grey's Anatomy. It's some, somebody got a job working for a doctor, and somebody said that it was... <laughs> I was listening to it in the background while I was uploading my video, and somebody said she only got the job because he wanted to sleep with her or something like that. I was like, this is not. <laughs> Maybe. Is it good? I mean, somebody let me know. I got enough shows that I need to watch. Oh, my God. Mel texted me last night. and Or maybe she tagged me on a, on DM or sent it to me on a DM on Instagram. But there's a movie coming out on Hulu. I gave her, maybe it was the night before, I gave her a hard time about it because Mel is obsessed with the Murdoch murders. And to be honest with you, if I hear one more thing about the Murdoch murders, I'm totally fine. But I will watch this. So it's a movie that's coming out on Hulu. You know what? Let me see if I still have it. I think she DM'd me on Instagram about it because she saw it on Instagram. Because I gave her a hard time about it. And then she said, it's actually based on the Mandy Matney book. And I was like, oh, then I'll watch it. Where is it at? Oh, here she is. Okay. Where is that? Come on. She said, I gave her a hard time about it, and she said, I don't want to hear about it, Mr. Mormon Obsessive. Because <laughs> I watch all these shows. Why is this, like, nothing is loading for me today. On my computer, like, when I was doing this video, it wouldn't load for me. No, this isn't loading for me. Come on now. Here it is. Okay. So it's called... Murdoch Murders, and it's starring Patricia Arquette. So it's like how they did The Staircase, they did the documentary, and then they're gonna do, like, it's a made-for-movie. And apparently, well, here, let's look it up and see what it says. Because Mandy Matney is tagged in it. Mandy Matney says, We are more confident than ever that this scripted dramatic series will help shine sunlight on all the horribleness that was allowed to fester for decades and continues to mar South Carolina. Perhaps most of all, though, I'm proud that we'll be able to keep S Stephen Smith's story in the spotlight, and hopefully this helps get him and his mom, Sandy, some justice. But also, woohoo, hooray for Hollywood. Stay tuned for more details. So apparently it's based on the uh, Mandy Matney book, which is cool, because, um, oh, I thought that was my friend whose grandson and her never come to the pool anymore. Um, who else is in it? Doesn't it? I don't know any of these other people. You know any of these people in here? I don't know any of these people that are in it. But Patricia Arquette, I love. Um, so yeah. And then last night I watched... Well, I sat and like looked through stuff. September was gonna be my... Ooh, that's a nice car. Look at that. Brand new, it looked like brand new Porsche Carrera. What, I don't know who's in this neighborhood driving that car, but that's beautiful, black. Had the sunroof off and the <laughs> windows down. Um, I have a list of all these things I wanna buy. And so, September was my month to, I was gonna buy some of those things, cause I like, the money that I've been saving, like all, you know, like summer not buying like tons of stuff, like I put over into my, like, did a deposit into my personal savings at the end of August. I talked about that on here. So I was like, okay, September, I can buy some stuff I want. There's actually a pair of shoes that I want to get. Um, there's like two pairs of shoes that I want to get. And then just some other random socks. There's socks, some other random stuff that I want to get. And so um, that I've been looking at for a while. Well, last night I kept on looking at it. And I was like, I can wait till October. I can wait till November. Like, it's not even cold yet. Like, it's hoodies and stuff like that. And I was like, I mean, I'm wearing a hoodie today, but it's supposed to be 85 all next week. So I was like, I can wait. Like, I can wait. Like, now that I've been in this saving money mode for a while, I'm like, if I can push it to another month, and that'll give me even more mo money to... There he goes. Woo-hoo! Hot Rod. <laughs> Hot Rod LA, no longer an icon. Uh... <laughs> I have like three icon hats sitting upstairs. I don't know why I don't just break them out and start wearing them in videos, but I like this hat so much. I almost gave it to Carlitos last night because he had on his dad's Puerto Rico hat. And so 
I like took this hat off and he like took it from me and like put it on. And he like, I said, go look at yourself in the mirror. And I was like, you look kind of like a, cause their hair is real long right now. Cause they're like growing it out. Sebastian wants to look like Bruno Mars is what he told us. So they're like growing their hair out. It's real curly and long. Not long, like down to here, but it's like curly, you know? And so he put the hat on. I go, you look kind of like a surfer. And he goes, I do. And he goes, yeah. And I go, but that's to you. Peter's only hat right now for filming. He started laughing. So, um, but I've got like three icon hats upstairs. I don't know why. They don't really, two of them don't really fit my head that great. So that's part of why. But I think this week I'm going to like break out some other hats to try on my channel. I mean, I might as well. You know what I mean? But. I'll break out the Icon hats, too. The Icon hats are not going anywhere. The Icon is still here. <laughs> Don't ever forget. So we got home, and then, like, when I got de-stressed about Boo Radley, I sat down in the chair, and I was looking through all that stuff. And then um, Nikki texted me, and she's like, what are you doing? She had just gotten home from work, and she's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm getting ready to start. Oh, I think at that point, I was watching The Secret Wise, and she's like, oh, I'm, I'm getting ready to start watching, too. We were literally, like, on the same episode. So we watched it together, like, two episodes, and, like, we're texting each other, just stupid stuff. And then she she was like, I'm going to bed. I'm going to finish it tomorrow night. I watched one one more episode. It was when they were going to Vegas that she stopped. I kept on watching that Vegas episode, and they're still in Vegas. So I've got six, I've got seven and eight to watch tonight, and then I'm done with it. And then I'm going to watch Binge Watch Sister Wives. Um, I've been having Sister Wives on while I'm doing stuff in the background. Like, I have my iPad set up, and I just, like, turn it on so I can, like, I've got to get through it. Alex asked me today, he said, it's so funny because Nikki said the same thing that Alex said, that Tanya said, that everybody said, right? I'm like, I have to finish these things before next Sunday. Alex goes, how many seasons do you have left? And I said, like, five seasons left. And he goes, by next Sunday? And I said, yeah, because he sees it that I have it on like all the time right like it's always in the background <laughs> this is for wives he like thinks it's hilarious and so he goes do you think you're gonna make it and I said I don't know well Nikki had said this to me last night and Alex said it to me today and Tanya said it to me the other night he's like you know like it's just one episode that's coming out next Sunday it'll give you another week I go I know but I want to have it all caught up because you're so silly he goes you're always like this with TV shows you always want to be caught up I go I want to be caught up before it comes out he goes but I'm just saying like if you don't watch it that night I go I know that like I have another week like it's just, he goes, so it's not the whole season that's coming out. I go, oh, no, they don't release the whole season at once. It'll just be one episode. I said, but I want to be caught up, like, by the time that it comes out. He, I mean, he gets it. But, I mean, hell, he watched Love Island twice, all the TikToks, all the interviews before the reunion came out. He gets it. So, I have a feeling, this happened a couple weeks ago. Like, I got on here and I said, oh, Alex is doing this and he's doing that. And then, I don't even know if I ended up saying it. But, like, that night, he, like, I went upstairs, and he was, like, half asleep, and I go, are you not going out with your girlfriend tonight? He's like, no, I'm staying in. He's like, I'm too tired. He's like, I just want to relax and be cozy and stay inside. I was like, okay. So, um, I have a feeling tonight he's, he won't end up going anywhere. It's so funny, because it's always when he has, like, a lot of plans. Or he won't go to the band, and then at, like, 11 o'clock. So, the reason why he and his girlfriends are going out is because one of his friends is a, a, she's a bartender. And so, she's bartending at a different bar tonight. Like, it's a it's a bar that has, like, DJs and stuff like that. And so, she's bartending there tonight. So, they were going to all visit her while she was working. Um, but he said that's still kind of, like, up in the air. So, I don't know. So, we'll see. But he's watching his show. I don't care what he watches. I am literally binge-watching Sister Wives this entire weekend. There's, like, three movies I don't want to watch. And I'm like, I'm like, I've got one week to finish this damn show. The battery has been at the halfway mark for probably 10 minutes, so I'm, like, afraid it's gonna, like, die at any second. Um, let's go in here and read some comments, because I said I was gonna keep this a little bit longer. So, anyway, so that was last night. I just strictly last night, I think I strictly watched... Oh, here are my notes. Look, on the... I'm keeping notes on every season of, uh... <laughs> this was my favorite line from episode six of, <laughs> of uh... The Secret Lives of Sister Wives, or Mormon Wives. I told, we were texting Nikki last night. I said, I'd rather be, these girls are, they're superficial. I would rather be a sister wife with all of them any day of the week. And she was like, yeah, me too. And um, Nikki actually said that her husband said, <laughs> what did she say? We were talking about being sister wives. Oh, I was telling her because that she should watch Shut It Off. And she said she and her husband were going to maybe watch it tonight. Because that's my movie for this week, for Peter's mo Movie Club. Um... <laughs> here's our tax you ready so so she's we're talking about sister wives oh how do we get started talking about sister wives um where is it at where she says 
we're talking about this show. Okay, oh, so in this show, they, okay, so in, I don't know if this is a Salt Lake City thing, but they most, of, uh, they supposedly don't drink alcohol, but most of them do. So they go to these soda shops a lot. Like this one place is called, it was such a cute name, I can't remember, but they can go in there and they get these 44 ounce fountain pops, right? But they can get all these different like sodas. They just like, can mix whatever kind of soda. They get coconut soda and they get blueberry, all kinds of sodas. And so I was telling her, I was like, I said, I want to go to these fountain soda places. And she was like, you and me both. I wish we had those. She said, I want to, I kind of want to go to a Mormon area and get sodas. Because they have all these soda shops. It's soda like, what was it called? Soda Punch? It was called Punch or something like that, this place. Or Sip. It was called Sip or something like that. But it was just like you go in there. It looks like a crumble cookies. And it's just like you order a 40. They had like Rice Krispie treats and stuff. Because one girl gets Rice Krispie treat. But they're constantly getting these 44 ounce sodas in the show. And then I said to her when she said that, she said, I kind of want to be a Mormon, go to a Mormon area and get sodas. I said, I want to be a sister wife. <laughs> she said, I, I would love it, having other people to do things I don't want to do. And I said, yeah, but not Janelle and Christine or Robin. <laughs> she said her husband said the other day, Peter and Alex need to move to our neighborhood. Ha ha. And I said, true. And then she said, no, we need to move there so I can get in on all this HOA drama. And I said, oh my God, it's crazy. And she said, you and I would never get anything done. We would just <laughs> stand in the corner and gossip about the HOA drama. And I said, oh my God, so true. And then we're talking about this guy, the boyfriend of, she's like, he's so weird to me. And we were talking about this guy on the show. And then I was talking about something else. And then um, she's asking me about how many seasons I have left of Sister Wives. And I said, I don't know. I feel like I have like five and a half seasons left. And she said, the good thing is that they come out weekly. So even if you aren't done yet, you will be close. And I said, I know that's what I think too. And um, she said, once you get, once they get to Arizona, I'll pick it back up so I can get caught up with you because they moved to Arizona. And I said, what season did you leave off? And she said, hold on, let me uh, Google and see if she can figure out. And I said, I think they moved soon. She said, season 13, it was 2018. Well, that's the season that I'm on right now. I said, girl, that's the season I'm on right now. P.S. I want a London Fog. <laughs> <laughs> this is like how me and Nikki and um, Mel all text. And then Tanya constantly sends me, hold on, I'll have to see if I can find it. She constantly sends me these, where is she? <clears throat> oh my God, I get so many DMs. She constantly sends me these DMs, okay? Like here's this DM that she put up here. Me and my friend will give people a nickname quick because <laughs> why is <laughs> Mr. No Neck staring at us? And it's these guys laughing and then like, Tanya sends me these things all the time. Um, she, sent me this thing about giving my dog instructions when I leave the house. It's always these things about, oh, a doll, she sent me a Dolly Parton one, and then she is, like, constantly, like, sending me these memes of stuff. She said, why, she, she sent me this, she goes, why is this our conversation? My Uncle Junior works there, who is a Jehovah's Witness. She's like, why is this our conversations, or something like that. Oh, no, she sent me one, and then I said, our conversations, LOL. <laughs> Constantly sending me things. I should show you some of these things that she sends me. Oh, here she is. She sent it to me here first. Um, restaurant. My uncle Junior works there. Who is a Jehovah's Witness? Oh my God. Oh, this is when we were in Mexico, and I was sending her pictures, and I said, "Oh my God." I, she's. Oh no, she. I posted a picture of our room, and she said, "Oh my God, I wouldn't leave the room." I said, "It's so nice." She always sends me this stuff about, like, best friends, like, being best friends and, like, all this kind of stuff. Stupid animal stuff. I mean, it's constant. She tags me in all this constant stuff. Anyway, she cracks me up with her. She loves, Tanya loves the memes on the Facebook and the Instagram. So, anyway, tonight is... I said I was going to do over an hour tonight, so I have to make over an hour. I got, like, a minute and one second left. Um, where are they walking to? It's my... Pool crew pe people and their grandkids. I should run out there and go get them that ramen. They usually walk every night, so I'll see them. I asked Alex, I was like, do you want, oh my God, the battery is flashing and I literally have 40 seconds left. Well, I'm gonna go get another battery and then I'll just make this a little bit longer, so I'll be back. 
Okay, I'm back. Anyway, I was asking Alex, I was like, do you want this <laughs> Hello Kitty ramen? He was like, no. <laughs> I was like, well, I was going to give it to the neighbor grandkids anyway. He was like, yeah, I think you can do that. <clears throat> so that's what I'll be doing with that. I don't even think my nephews would be interested in the Hello Kitty ramen. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? I'll probably see them tomorrow. If I don't see them walking, I'll see them tomorrow at the pool. Because we're supposed to go to the pool for like 10 minutes in the last dive of the of the summer. <laughs> That's silly. He's now moved upstairs. He's upstairs instead of downstairs watching TV. So he's hanging out probably with Mr. Boo Radley. Anyway, I'm kind of excited about tonight. Just watching the show. Just like binge watching one episode after another. The season that I'm on. Oh my God. Every. Oh, this is. i going to tighten this up. The season that I'm on. Every episode is like. An, and they must have been two hour episodes. Every episode is an hour and 26 minutes. And that's with no commercials. I'm like what in the holy hell is going on. The holy heck. <laughs> As they would say on Sister Wives. What in the holy heck is going on with these hour and a half episodes, these hour and 26 minute episodes? It's ridiculous. Okay. Should I get into some comments? I haven't really listened to a whole lot more of the God of our God in the Woods, so I need to get onto that. Okay, let's get into the comments in the vlog of love. Okay. You should go to... I got this far enough out that I can see. Okay. Mary said... Oh, we're talking about trips. Like taking a weekend trip. She said, you should go to Key West. Pools are open year-round. I go every year and it's amazing. I'm not opposed to going to Key West. Here's the thing. Okay. Um, Caroline loves Key West. Caroline and her girls go to... Her girls. She's got like four girls groups. I'm getting my hair cut on Monday. Should I keep my hair a little bit longer? Not through here. I would keep on getting this. But should I keep this part a little bit longer? Or should I grow this power out too? What should I do with my hair? <laughs> Jolene, Jolene, Joe. Over there. Whatever. Oh my God. Oh, I was going to say that. I forgot I was going to say this. When Alex went to go get chicken nuggets, he was like, do you want anything? I have been craving, I don't know why, but for like two weeks, I've been craving a vegetarian Whopper, which apparently they will, or not Whopper, a vegetarian Big Mac, which apparently they will make you, okay? And it has no meat on it, and there's no meat byproducts on it. It's literally like a bun, and you can have them add like extra pickles or extra lettuce or whatever. I would have them add le extra lettuce. And so I've been thinking, like, I know it's so unhealthy, but I have been craving for like the last two weeks a... Um, a vegetarian or a meatless Big Mac, which I so many people have told me that they will make you at McDonald's. Um, so I almost had them get me one, but then I was like, mm. I mean, I guess I could DoorDash one <laughs> Big Mac. That would be like a $20 order. Oh, about Key West, so. Um, so I have a lot of people that I know that go to Key West. It was so funny because my ex and I, we actually had a trip planned to Key West, and we had like found this little house and this little pool and back and had like a big fence around. It was real cute. And you could like walk everywhere. It was like in the downtown part of Key West. Um, but everybody that I know that goes to Key West is like, it's kind of party central. Like you kind of just go from one bar to the next and whatever. My cousin Caroline was like, Peter, she's like, you don't drink. She's like, it's really heavy drinking. She was like, if you go down there with a group of people, it can be a lot of fun. She was like, but if you just sat at home and just read by the pool, that could be fun too. She's like, but that's not what Alex likes to do. Alex is going to want to go out and do things. I mean, I would do it, but I probably wouldn't do like a week there. I would do like a long weekend. But we've actually thought a lot about Key West. We've actually thought about flying into Miami, staying in Miami like two days, and doing the drive to Key West. Um... I don't love the idea of driving on those bridges over the water, but I think that it would be, like, a good way for me to kind of, like, um, conquer my fear of sharks a little bit. And I also think it would be fun. Um, when I was growing up as a kid, I think it was, like, the last family trip that my parents and I ever took together before they got separated. So I don't know how old I would have been. But we drove from, like, where Chicago or Indianapolis. No, it would have been in Indianapolis. So I would have been about four or five all the way down. And we went, we stayed in Marathon Key. And, um... I can remember it just was, like, not. Like, there was no beaches. I can remember, like, I remember, like, really small things. Like, feeding parrotfish with my dad with, like, balls of, like, bread and stuff like that. Um, and that's, like, really, I remember my parents, like, fighting in the car. That's, like, really all I remember about. Not fighting, like, ah, but, like, getting in an argument in the car and, like, the parrotfish. That's, like, really all I remember. And my mom always later being, like, Marathon Key was horrible. It had no beaches or anything like that. Bloodline. People always ask me to watch Bloodline. I watched all of Bloodline except for, like, half of the last season. I just got bored with it. But I love Sissy Spacek. 
and Bloodline takes place like in the Keys. But if, if there was a resort like the one in the Keys that you could like in Bloodline that you could go stay in, oh, I would love that. I, mean, I would love to get a, like a little, rent a little Airbnb, a little house in Key West too. I wouldn't do it for like a week. I would do it for three or four days. I have a feeling if I went to Key West, I would end up loving it. Um, everybody that I know that goes there loves it. They said it's like very small town. It's very cute. So probably I would. Oh, Tia, hey, Tia. Tia said 94. Oh, I was talking about Abuela. What a blessing. I wish I had my grandma until 94. Happy birthday. I wish I did too. Yep, it is such a blessing. Um, Teresa said yes. The Discovery of Witches show has been out for a while. Kristen said, oh, wow. Happy birthday, Abuela. Thank you. Um, okay, Kelsey was the one that said that I say this about Boo every other week or so. Maybe this is very normal for Boo. It's equivalent of an 80-year-old man. I 100% agree with you. I think I just, like, I would be this way if I was a parent, too. Like, I know that. Like, I'm a freak about it. Like, any little thing, I'm, like, totally stressed out about, like, you know, is this his last day? Is he fine? Or whatever, you know? Um... So, I mean, you're right. Like, I know. I say it all the other time. But I started to give updates on the dog, too. But I mean, I know I need to have a more relaxed attitude about it. Um, Rob said, your vlogs get me through the day, Peter. You are appreciated more than you know. Happy birthday, Graham. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you. Um, somebody said, looks like a PJ. Um, at first, uh, do you know I wanted to be a PJ when I was growing up, but I'm not a junior, so I couldn't be a PJ, but I could be a PA. Have I told this story? I think I've told this story like 50 times on here. Um, and my neighbors in the corner are leaving. I, so, cause my middle name is Alexander, so I could have been a PA and I was like, that's stupid. Nobody's a PA. And then this tennis, uh, coach moved to Indianapolis and his name was PA and like, he's like, everybody knows him. Actually, it's funny because my neighbor in the corner that's leaving right now, like he's friends with PA and PA is like 70 now. And, um, but when I was growing up, like, all the women that took, like, tennis lessons from him and stuff, they, like, loved this man. And I was like, damn, I could have been a PA all this time. They're getting their, their mail. Must not have been anything exciting in their mail. I love when people, like, drive by their mailbox to get their mail. First of all, it's difficult as hell <laughs> from a car to get your mailbox. <laughs> to get into your mailbox. Okay, PJ said, at first I thought you were only going to vlog on the weekends, but then I realized you're not filming anything except your vlogs on the weekend. Phew, LOL, happy birthday, Abuela. Yeah, I, I don't plan. We don't have really any major plans in the next couple weeks. I have doctor's appointments, and I have the meeting with the physical trainer this week, and the dietitian, that, but that goes with my um, doctor's appointment. So I don't have any, we don't have any big plans. There's no reason why I can't, unless like I got really sick or something, which I mean, that's, that very rarely happens over here. I don't really can't imagine a reason why I wouldn't vlog. So my plan is to vlog seven days a week going forward. I'll let you guys know if I'm not going to, but I'm going to take a day off. I'll put it in the Vlogarinos group. I'll put it on my community tab on the vlog, but I don't have any plans anytime in the near future. Of, um, did you get anything good? No. Did you make your chili yet? You got lots of beans in it? I've got some beans in it. You better open your windows then tonight. <laughs> hey, how's that dirty romantic book of yours that you're reading? You finished it? About Gwendolyn and <laughs> whoever they were whoever they were. Lucy and Laura and all them. What are you reading now? A historical mystery? What historical era? Oh, the late 1700s. You love that stuff. I'm reading The God of the Woods. I just finished that cozy mystery that I told you to read called Smile Beach Murder. I loved it. Smile Beach Murder. There's two in the series by Alicia Bissett. Okay, I'll look it up. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. Um. So, okay, my plan going forward is to film the vlog seven days a week. If I take 
if I take the weekends off, like Alex said to me today, he goes, I thought you weren't gonna film any videos. I was like, well, we're just sitting around here, like, you know, and whatever, and you're doing this and whatever. He's like, well, I don't care. He's like, you can film seven videos if you want to. I don't really care. He's like, I just thought you weren't going to. And I was like, well, I wasn't, you know. Anyway, so my plan going forward is if I do film every day, Monday through Friday, then I probably will take Saturday and Sunday off and just film my vlog on Saturday and Sunday. Unless, like, it's like a day like today, we're just sitting around, he's watching shows. I have such a hard time during the day just like sitting here listening to an audiobook or I mean if it's like a day like today and I could walk and my feet were a little bit more healed um then I would walk during the day and I probably wouldn't vlog I'm, or do anything other than vlog tomorrow I might just vlog because if we go to the pool ah the tripod fell right as I was talking about that but anyway um so Tomorrow, I'm doing like the pool thing. Um, but then also, if we go to brunch tomorrow, after brunch, I've got a couple places I need Alex to run me as far as errands and stuff like that. So we've gotta do that quickly so we can come back. Depending on how long I stay at the pool. I mean, we may stay at the pool and kind of like just hang out and talk for an hour. I'll vlog, but it might be a shorter vlog tomorrow. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit longer because I know that people enjoy the longer vlogs, but I'm gonna, you know, whatever. Um, but then, I don't plan on making any other videos other than that tomorrow. I have a haul that I want to do for my Peter Dust channel, but that can wait till Monday. I've got reviews, I've got TV shows, all that kind of stuff, but that can all wait till Monday and I can film it through the week. This week, I have like a hair appointment on Monday, doctor's appointment, personal trainer, all that kind of stuff. I can still film around that. <clears throat> oh God, it just got really windy. Um, it is literally like fall in Indiana today. But then the rest of the weeks of September, I have like nothing except for like therapy, you know, <clears throat> which I can film around therapy. So that's my plan going forward, September and October, is to just film during Monday through Friday and then my vlog seven days a week. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, there may be weekends where like if Alex is doing something or he's gone or he's sleeping, then I'll film a video or two. Um, I, lo I love to film. I mean, I just love filming videos. I also think... I keep on seeing this stuff come up where it's like, it's good for you to take a day off or a day, two, a day or two off um, and not do anything and just be kind of like, you know, just do nothing. Um, I, it's not like my job of being a YouTube person making videos is like, it's not like it's challenging. It's not like it's, you know, standing on my feet all day long. It's not manual labor. It's not like it even takes a lot of intelligence, right? So it's not like it's like this super stressful. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's like I get to do something I love every day, right? So it's hard to take a day off when you do something that you love every day because you love it. But I've also seen this stuff where it's like, I've seen these like inspirational quotes where it's like, it's really good for like the human body and rest and stress level to just not do anything for an entire day. Um, so I may film on Saturdays, but on Sundays, my plan is to just do the vlog going forward. But um, but I'm glad that you were like worried that I wasn't gonna vlog. I love that people love to watch my vlog. Thank you. Um, okay, Jane said if you call 911 and say you can't breathe, having chest pains or a stroke, they always send the fire department with an ambulance. So hopefully they're okay. They're fine. It wasn't. It was miscommunication. Um, and I'm glad that she's really. I'm glad that she's okay. Um. Okay, Diana said, I know we all joke about the HOA, but it sounds to me with my background in business, you all need to sign a petition and hire a forensic accountant. These numbers are way off, way too far off with what you pay. They should be able to carry a very small amount of debt. Kind of fishy, huh? Might make for a new book from Peter. Well, I've actually, so I'm currently working on a, a, a cozy mystery that might have or might not have something to do with the HOA. But um, I think I actually did this in one of my vlogs a while ago. Um, they release an annual report. I think I did this. I feel like I was sitting at the computer when I did it. They release an annual report. And in the annual report, they go month by month. And they show, like, what you're, they spent. I mean, it's very detailed what they go through. And they show, like, it's not just, like, pool maintenance, $30 from what you pay a month. It shows, like, what pool maintenance includes. I mean, they go through everything. It is so detailed, Okay. It's not that they're trying to hide anything from us. I mean, it is completely transparent what they show us. I mean, I joke about the HOA and the fees too. What it is is, and this is the attitude, and this has been the attitude since I moved in here, okay? Is that when my friends drive through here and other people that I know, you know, like, or somebody like drops me off from a meeting or whatever, they'll be like, you, like, oh, Uber drivers always say this to me. They're like, I did not know that this neighborhood existed because it's kind of tucked away. And they're like, it is so pretty in here with the trees. All the trees are different in everybody's yard. They're like, the trees are so pretty. The lakes are so pretty. They're like, this is gorgeous back here. Well, 
I mean, it really doesn't look a whole lot. The yards look a little bit different because the landscapers that we have this year, but like the pool looks exactly the same. It's funny because my neighbor next door, because her grandma lives in here, so she was sending me pictures of when she was swimming in the pool when she was like two years old with her grandma and her dad. And the pool looks identical to what it looks like right now. So their attitude in here is, we want to make it nice for the next generation of people that live in here. So we want to keep the neighborhood nice. Well, as somebody that has had this condo in my family for 29 years, you know, my mom moved in here in December of 1994, so it's been 29, almost 30 years. It'll be 30 years this December. The neighborhood does look as nice as it did 30 years ago. <clears throat> I mean, it really, really does. And so the trees look great. They maintain the trees. They maintain everything. So they try to keep a certain amount of surplus in the HOA, like fee, like the savings or whatever. Um, there's, I mean, I joke about the money or I talk about the money, like the 88,000 that we own, the lakes are paying off a little bit of at a time over whatever. And then the money that we had to pay for the assessment. But even when we've had to pay the money for the assessment, I'm sure that there was like something they put out about where each of that money, I mean, they document all of it. I mean, too much. I mean, I've got a whole entire, like, bendable folder in there of, like, everything they've ever sent us about the spending of the money in the neighborhood. I mean, like, for years. So, I've got all of that documented. Um, it's not like, because a, a lot of people, I mean, it's not just you, a lot of people in the comments will be like, I feel like your HOA is screwing you and whatever. I know it probably seems that way, but that's not the case. I mean, they really aren't. Um... If anything, what it is is, I mean, I think we have something like... It's it's ridiculous. It's like three or five hundred, three to five hundred thousand dollars of savings they have for like rainy day kind of thing. Which what rainy day is going to cost that kind of money? But they're like, we want to be able to maintain it for the next, you know, the next generation of people that live in the neighborhood, which I think is nice, and I get that, right? But at the same time, it's like, well, what about us that are living here right now? But the neighborhood is nice. It is beautiful, you know. Um, that's why for me, it's crazy that like if we want to keep the pool open for an extra week they won't pay the $600 to keep the pool open. But here's the thing, right? Nobody that's on the HOA board cares to keep the pool open for next week. And my neighbor on the corner, which it's her last month, she don't want to fight for it. She likes the pool, but she don't want to fight about it, right? So it's not that they wouldn't spend $600 on something that they want done. This is what I was saying in my video yesterday. It's that nobody on the board or nobody that's going to put a forth the motion to do it is anybody that's invested. They don't go to the pool. That I mean, it's like five to ten of us that go to the pool and nobody that's the five or ten of us is on the board which some people will be like well then be on the board i'm not going to be on the board to fight for the pool being open for an extra week it's not worth it's not worth 12 months of stress for me you know what i mean so anyway um but that's what it's about now i appreciate your concern i do i appreciate people being worried about it because i've actually gotten emails from people that watch my vlog and they're like i'm really concerned about this like i'm in the maintenance business and whatever it's completely on the up and up like i mean they they document everything and send it to us the minutes from every meeting i mean it's like nauseating honestly it's like 30 pages of the meetings from the meetings. I mean, it would drive you crazy to read it. So, I mean, but I appreciate you looking in, out for it. But it would make a good uh, HOA mystery. mystery. Um, uh, and then Diana said again, she goes, we are on a warm, cozy porch. Um, but Diana, thank you for being concerned. I appreciate it. Um, love you always. Take care and stay safe. Have a relaxing evening. Alex time. Watch TV. Take naps. Love you. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, Joanne. Hey, Joanne. She said happy birthday to Alex's grandmother. Oh, my God. So, Joanne sent me these pickle ices, okay, that I reviewed on my ice channel. Okay, Joanne, you know I love you. Joanne has sent me so many things for the years, so she'll take this as a joke. I do not love pickle juice. I like pickles. I don't like pickle juice. Those were disgusting. But let me tell you what is so funny about it, okay? Um... I'm actually, I saved them in my freezer because I was like, I wanted to ask some of my neighbors because when I read the comments on the video, there were so many people that were like, oh my God, I drink, my daughter or me, we drink pickle juice right out of the jar. We love it. People were like, oh my God, I would love that. I love pickle juice. I was so surprised by the comments. So many, I thought it would be like, people would be like, oh, that's so gross. All the comments where people were like, oh my God, I would love those. Those look so good. Like, I would want to try those. I was like, oh my God, Joanne, like, she hit something trendy. So, but thank you for sending me that. I had such a fun time doing that review. Um, but I, I'm going to ask some of my neighbors because maybe some of my neighbors like love pickle juice and then they would love to have those. So, but thank you so, so much. And I appreciate it. Um, and you sent them to me. Joanne has sent me so many things for the years. I got K pods from Joanne that she sent me so much stuff. She's so sweet. I love you, Joanne. Um, uh, 
Um, okay. Julie said, hi, Peter. It seems like a pattern. Boo gets like his crazy self that needs to recover for a couple days after. He's 15. I think it's likely he's okay and just needing a rest. I agree with you guys all saying this. I just worry. You know, it's just, I mean, it's not like I'm not in my head being like, okay, Peter, you're, you're, you're stressing out. I mean, my husband says that to me, right? And so I appreciate you guys saying this. To me, what I think happens is he feels really, really good. I mean, he has, he's had arthritis for a couple years. I think the medicine really helps him. So I think he gets the zoomies. I mean, he may not have even fallen, like jumping on the bed. He may have just had the zoomies. Remember, he was like being crazy and he may have just worn his muscles out and then been really tired. It may be exactly what you're saying. It may be that he just like wears himself out and he's super, super tired in that moment. That could be exactly what it is, you know? And then it's like, it takes him two or three days to recover from the zoomies and then he feels like himself again. I mean, he's an older dog. You're right, you know? I think part of it is my denial about him being an older dog. I just don't want him to be one, right? Okay, wait. Somebody said... Okay, so Friendly Girl said... So, um, did you change your name? Because you... Okay. Because I know your profile picture. Because you comment all the time on my videos. Hey, girl! I don't remember what your profile name was, though. But I feel like you changed it. Um, but hey, how are you doing, girl? She said, so I went to Hulu to check out The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives, and I don't know what I thought it was going to be. Well, I, I thought it was going to be something completely different, too. I didn't know it was about that mom talk, moms. It was going to be because I had only heard about it from you, but I didn't think it was going to be about Mormon swingers and party gone wild little Mormons. It was interesting. I watched it for sure. It is a ride, I'll tell you that. Christy said, thanks for the vlog. Hope you had a great night at the party. Love you. Hey, Christy. Marky said, if you want a cozy trip, come to Salem, Massachusetts. I would love to see, you. oh my God, that's like on my bucket. Well, I don't really have a bucket list, but a, a places that I want to go, like that's definitely on my list. I've always wanted to go to Salem um, for the Halloween stuff, obviously. And what's the place where they have all the psychics? They made a documentary about it. No one dies in, no one dies in Sunnydale. Is that what it's called? There's like this huge bug crawling up towards me. I think it's No One Dies. Here, let's put that. Have you guys seen that documentary? No One Dies. I should watch that one again. No One. I remember a friend of mine told me about that about 10 years ago. No One Dies and Lily Dale. Have you guys seen this documentary? Here it is, right here. No One Dies in Lily Dale. Um, no One Dies in Lily Dale. Here's the Wikipedia. Okay, God. <sighs> Synopsis. The documentary focuses on residents of Lilydale, a small town in upstate New York with an unusually high number of mediums. So it's all like psychic mediums. I wonder if you can even watch it anywhere. You can watch it. You can pay on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Amazon Prime. You have to rent it for $3.99. It was interesting. I don't know that I would recommend it, but it wasn't like horrible. But it was good, but I love that. Bobby said, happy 90th birthday, abuela. Um, love you, Peter and Alex and Boo Radley. Oh, love you too. Thank you so much. Love you all. I love you all. You guys are so sweet to me. Happy birthday, said Elisa. Kimberly, that precious Boo Radley. Hope, uh, praying that precious Boo Radley feels better. Thank you. Happy birthday, Abuela. Um, oh, here's the comment. Somebody said, did you ever find out about the neighbor with the ambulance yesterday? So yeah, I told you about that. Um, that's from Bob. Um, Purple Hearts, Blue Hearts. Steffi said, I love the nightly vlogs, even if they are short. I listen to your vlogs every night when I take my dogs on a walk. Oh, I love that. Jessica sending love. Uh, Tracy said, hope you enjoyed the birthday party. Vic said, sorry about Boo Radley. Maybe he will be chipper tomorrow. Please try not to worry. Love the little... You're so sweet. Thank you. I appreciate you guys all saying, you know, what I needed to hear and being encouraging. I really appreciate that. Bobby said, Peter, please do a video about Nikocado Avocado. That was my drama video today. Vic said, happy birthday to Alex's grandma. Thank you. Uh, Katie said, LOL, it is a lot of drama being on the board. I was on our board for five years, HOA board, because I complained there were no females on the board. So they said, then join. <laughs> so I did, and I regretted it after a few years. Now there's more women on there, and I left. I couldn't handle all the BS, but the good part of it is that you 
is if you want anything done, like you don't like the time that the waste management comes and picks up garbage, so you can call and say, I'm on the board and this is what our board voted to do and we want your company here in the afternoons. I actually did that and they're still coming in the afternoons and said that. Oh, interesting. Well, I will say this. My neighbor, like, she got on it because she wanted, she was like, I want to make a contribution and whatever. She was on it like two months and she was like, I want off. She was like, it's crazy. She was like, I want off. Like, nothing is achieved in these meetings. She stuck out the three years because that was her commitment. And she's a commitment kind of person. And I know I'm the same way. So if I signed up for it for three years, I'd be stuck on it for three years. So, uh. Oh my God, you guys, so many people said happy birthday to Alex's grandma. That just means the world to me. I really, really appreciate it. Well, I'm going to get off here now, and I am going to go inside, and I really want to go to the pool. I know it's cold, but I'm like, should I go to the pool and just jump in? I mean, I have a hoodie on. <laughs> What's the temperature? It's still 65 and partly cloudy. Should I go to the pool and jump in? I'm going to text my neighbor. She was taking a walk earlier. I'm going to text her. I know it's cold. Oh, did I tell you guys the other night, we were both going to go for a night swim. I don't think I said this. This was one thing I did want to say. So we were both going to go, oh, here she is. Oh, wait, I know it's cold. Do, but do you, she's going to say no. One, two, <laughs> I don't really either, but I we got two days left. Run down and jump in <laughs> the pool really quick. I'm trying to see if I can show you these pictures. Okay, so I'm gonna, so this is the picture she sent me of the pool where she was sing, uh, swimming in it with her dad and her grandma back in the day, but I can't really show you, but you can see if I put it up here. I mean, the pool looks exactly the same as it did back then. It looks the same now. Um, and then she sent me other pictures, but this is so funny. The other night, oh wait, she was texting me back. She said, no way, LOL. <laughs> So the other night, we were supposed to go for a night swim, right? Did I say this on here? And I said to her something like, where's it at? I said, tonight was our last night for a night swim because it was the nicest night. I said, but I am too tired. She said, LOL, same. <laughs> so we didn't go the other night. Then she started sending me pictures of her in the pool. But anyway, all right, well, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to start getting this uploaded. And then um, I'm going to just be binge watching Sister Wives. So if you want to know what I'm doing tonight, <laughs> I'll be binge watching Sister Wives, okay? <laughs> Trying desperately not to order a, uh, I wonder how much, I'll have to look and see how much just one veggie Big Mac, oh, she is texting me again, DoorDash for McDonald's would cost. She said, you know what she just said? Now, when I say this, I'm going to get this. If anybody made it to the very end of the vlog, these are going to be all of the comments. I literally, I, I want to screenshot this and show it to you, but she literally said, so she said, no way, LOL. And then right after it, she said, do it and vlog it. And so now everybody's going to ask me to go up there and vlog it on the coldest day. Well, by the time you see this, it will just be one more day and I can't go up there tomorrow night. I think they're closing at like six tomorrow. So I can't, if I'm going to go night swimming tonight's the last night. I can't be going night swimming in 59 degree weather. I'll get sick. And then I can't make it up there tomorrow on the last day. But anyway... She said, do it and vlog it. Girl, you better do it and vlog it with me. Oh my God, do you guys want to see? I, I, I have the video. She sent me the videos of when we were at the pool. I'll post those in, in another, maybe the next vlog. Maybe I'll do a very special vlog just for that. Anyway, all right, I'm getting off here now. I hope that you guys, let me do my full outro tonight. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Saturday. If no, I can't believe it's Saturday. It feels weird. If nobody else has told you this today... I love you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, no. Do I usually say that? Anyway, right. hope you guys are having a magically amazing Saturday. If nobody else has told you this today, I love you guys. And remember these three very important things. One, you can start your day over whenever you want, or your week or weekend if you need to. Just start it over. Two, practice random acts of kindness, but shh, don't tell me. Just do it because it's the right thing to do. It's the nice thing to do. And three, most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. Like I always say... You might be putting a smile on their face. You might be changing their day for the better. You might be making them happier. And you might be the only text or phone call that they get today. So it's a nice thing to do. 
Also, be kinder to one another. This always sounds like Big Brother to me now. Be kind from inside the Big Brother house. Love one another. Um, also, be kinder to one another. Love one another a little bit more. And most, I was like, is Big Brother on tonight? No, it's tomorrow night. And most importantly, be kinder to yourself and love yourself a little bit more because if you're kinder to yourself, then you will be kinder to others. And if you love yourself more, then you will love others more as well. But most importantly, because you deserve it. You deserve to be kinder to yourself and love yourself. So please do that. And um, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Oh, and for those that just happen to stick around and want to hear a little song, one more I love you. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Happy birthday, Lena.